Welcome back to the Splashy News! Today, we're going to talk about issues in the beginning of May. So, do you enjoy going to the beach, playing in the sea, swimming, having fun with your friends and family? Well, so did the people at Miami Beach at Batu Ferengi. Little did they know, the beach was contaminated by raw sewage. Do you know what raw sewage is? You know the thing you pour down your sink, the thing that flows into your drain, and also the thing that you flush down your toilet? That is raw sewage. And these people have been swimming in it. The contamination went on for at least five days until it was reported. Imagine swimming in. Mm. There is also a case at a condominium in Bukit Damansara where about 200 residents drank and bathed in smelly water. Turns out that there was a dead body in their water tank and the residents unknowingly used this water for their domestic needs. The body was discovered in an advanced stage of decomposition and though who knows how long the residents have been consuming this water. The point I would like to make is authorities may not notice such problems as they may not come into contact with this dangerous water. Therefore, the first step to solve this problem is to notify the authorities. If no one makes the complaint, what kind of water would the residents still be using today? What kind of water would the tourists at Miami Beach be swimming in now? Sure, you are one of you are not the only one affected, so of course someone else will go and make the complaint, right? What if everybody thinks like that? Are you prepared to continue drinking polluted water? Continue swimming in dirty water? Continue using polluted water until the day someone finally makes a complaint. Another notable news is water conservation efforts in Pakistan. The percentage of people that have access to clean water in Pakistan is very low. 13% in rural areas and 43% in urban. Therefore, plans have been made to install water ATMs. Just like its name, it works exactly like an ATM machine. Users are given a card which they can use to withdraw water allocated to them. This means you cannot take too much water and all your water usage will be recorded and monitored by the government. You would think that the cost of building these machines will be very high and it will be very troublesome to take all these steps just to supply water. But this is just how precious water is in Pakistan. So we need to be thankful that we are living in a country with enough water. That's all for this time. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.